Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews and today I've got another episode of Classic Candy Corner and I was thinking about these a little while ago that I remember I used to get these and I was trying to remember what that what they were called and uh, uh, finally fi figured it out but I think um, they used to have them just like in um, regular uh, bags that they used to have them like at the candy counters when you would go to like, uh, I think it was um, Sears or, or Montgomery Wards used to have like a, a candy counter and you can get like truffles and peanut brittle and things like that. And, and you buy them by like, you know, the, the pound, the half pound, quarter pound, um, get them in like a regular candy store. And I was trying to track these down and I found <laughs> that they had them at Jelly Belly. Jelly Belly packaged these and um, so I picked up a pack and this is called Chocolate Dutch Mints. And they are pastel colored and they have uh, mint um, mint cream centers with uh, chocolate around it and then a kind of a crunchy pastel shell. shell. It's kind of like M&M, sort of. And um, here on the back it says, our divine mint cream centers are drenched in dark chocolate and finished with in a thin candy shell. Indulge in these decadent treats anytime. Um, like I said, this is from Jelly Belly, but I think they have other, it seemed like they had other ones. And I do remember getting these like a lot. Um, it seemed like it was kind of like a thing like people would have, um, I don't know, Easter time or um, for weddings. That was a lot of Jordan almonds and these kind of pesto. They, yeah, they were kind of like this for the um, holiday times, so I believe for like Easter, um, maybe like Christmas, they might have had them, but I do remember them. I think I had my share, fair share of them. They were kind of like melt, they would kind of melt in your mouth. And I think I, I had quite a few. And I think one time I remember something about, I had some and they were in like the car. And then they were like in the glove box and they got all melted up. It still came out the same, but uh, yeah, okay, so. Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah, I remember that. Now I remember old time. Yeah, here we go. The little uh, pastel colored. And um, see if I remember exactly what they taste like. Mm. Oh yeah, chewy, minty, kind of like Junior Mints, sort of, but let me see if I can, they are kind of like Junior Mints, they've got that white mint center, chocolate on the outside, but the pastel shell. Junior Mints didn't really have the shell, but it does kind of remind me of a peppermint patty or Junior Mints or, I don't know. I do remember these. Um, used to get like lots of mint, mint um, these might have been called mint meltaways. There was another one that was similar. They were actually called, I think they called them pillow mints or something. Little square things. They were like, look like chalk. And they were kind of minty, puffed up. 
kind of reminds me along the same line. But yeah, the chocolate Dutch mints. And it seems to be something that I, I did grow up with when I was little. A lot of times these were like Easter basket or Christmas time. A little bit different than the Junior Mints. They're a little bit um, firmer with that shell. Not as squishy. Junior Mints would always melt. They had that coating on there. Um, yeah, so. Um, but if you guys want to know, 110 calories for uh, 16 pieces, so. Uh, about 10 calories a piece. But I do remember getting these a lot. I think it seems to me like they came in a big bag, just like a clear confection bag. Like you would get these or, or pistachios kind of in the bag, like a, a pound of them. Saltwater taffy, that was another one that you would kind of get by the or by the half pound they were usually like in a candy store or they had them in barrels sometimes now these I don't know I don't know if they just had them loose or if they pre-packaged them like in you know one pound bags kind of like a gift set when you like when you would go to like you know candy store regular candy store and you can get like all the different ones by the pound you know um gummy gummy bears and um sour patch kids um you know all the different things you can get uh jelly bellies m m's a lot of that stuff you can get uh, some of the classic candies yeah where you would just um mix and match some of them you know they did it so much by pound also if you go some of the um Grocery stores and stuff, they have like the bulk section where you can get like, you know, chocolate covered peanuts, sour, sour balls. Um, yeah, all the different kind of loose candy that you could get. And this uh, probably was one of them. I think you can get them. Um, you can buy so much a pound and each one was a little bit different on how much they were. Chocolate covered peanuts, um, M and M's. The other ones, these are kind of remind me a little bit of it. Does six slits, little tiny ca candy, almost sort of like round M and M's. Um, they weren't quite the same though. Those and what do they call them? Um, I think it was called jots. They were like knockoffs of M&M's but the candy shell was not very good and um, that was kind of that but no, I haven't had these in a long long time probably like 35 40 years basically back when I was little kind of like a treat maybe if you would go to the candy store you get some or you'd go to like a specialty store if you were like on vacation sometimes you'd stop along the way a truck stop or um candy store and sometimes you'd get different things i know they had a lot of those specialty stores um or if you go like to the to the to the boardwalk or something all the different candies that were there that was probably one of the ones that you would get often Used to get them with the non perials That was kind of like an, another treat. Those were kind of like the um, snow caps, but they were bigger. And like I said, you used to get those by the pound. Brings back a lot of memories from when I was little, and it was one of the go-to you know candies that I used to have, and um, certainly kind of brings back a little bit of memory going over these um, classics, I guess, and. Uh, just remembering the, the taste, the smell, um, what I used to get when I was little. 
And it's surprising that a lot of them are still around. You can still find them if you look hard enough. Um, or maybe you've got a favorite candy that you that you liked that uh, you hadn't thought about in a long time. And I hope that uh, I'm kind of I'm sparking your memories of when you were little of some of the items you used to get by um, trying all the different ones that I used that I remember fondly and um, I'll keep looking for all the classic candies and bring it to you guys so anyways there you go that's kind of my memories on the Dutch chocolate mints and um, yeah there's still a lot of them out there that I can keep looking for and uh, hopefully I'll find them maybe I'll find one of your favorites so if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell right over there right by the baby <laughs> and uh, that way you won't miss any future content or if i go live you won't miss any of the fun so until next time on drew's food reviews when i'll be trying another classic candy for you this has been another episode of classic candy corner and i'll talk to you next time